think we've got a video with this next story. This is about a uh, teacher educating children on trans issues via a teddy. Do we have the, oh, the clip dear. of this? Why are we not surprised? Here we go. So that's the teacher uh, uh, introducing Teddy. Uh, it's a book um, uh, and it's designed. It's Thomas so, the Teddy takes a deep breath. I need to be myself. In my heart, I've always known that I'm a girl Teddy, not a boy Teddy. I wish my name was Tilly, not Thomas. Outrageous, Emma. It, it is. What age are these kids? We They're getting this. Primary remember, school. With no disrespect to any members of our community, we have to remember that the whole trans issue affects a tiny, tiny. minority of the population. Why do we have to start confusing young children, and even up to the age of 10, which is what these children were, in St Albans, in the school, they were doing this mm. introducing Teddy thing. Young children are very, very impressionable. What we are doing is talking to them about, with these books, they might be born in the wrong body. It's, this is a complex issue for us, for adults who've gone through ups and downs and, all, yeah. and really thought about it. It's very confusing for children. It's also Why homophobic. Start with the basics of loving everybody, understanding, yeah. compassion, acceptance. You just give them the basics. And then maybe at secondary school, if they want to talk about trans issues and being born in the wrong body, maybe then. But the age of 10, no. no. Yeah. It's also, though, for me, Matthew, it's quite transphobic when you sell this issue like this, because a lot of children, you know, probably not at that age, but a bit older, might be attracted to somebody of the same mm. sex. Rather than just accepting that they are gay now, they are being told as a boy, oh, well, you must be a girl yeah. because you like boys. No, I, think that's, I, think, I think that's a real danger. I mean, look, well, you know, when I was growing up in the 80s, we had Section 28 and uh, the, the, the sort of, um, you know, I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it was like two gay dads, um, a picture book in Islington caused... Eric, Eric, one of them was called Eric. Eric. Eric and Steve, was it? I, I think, think it was. Not Eric and Ernie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and it caused absolute outrage. But, of course, now we think that that, that was reasonable. But and, and I think it is fine for there to be... Uh, there's, it's right there's lesbian and gay characters just kind of mixed in with all different characters. What worries me about the particular wording that you read out there, Andrew, was that um, this is absolutely planting the idea that people are... Or they're born in their own body, that they want to be... Uh, you know, the, 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 they want to be adopt a, a, a girl's or boy's name mm. uh, 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 directly. And I think that is that is quite different to just yeah. having to, just portraying different characters, term, isn't this it? This thing about the wrong body, yeah, really is. I mean, my three-year-old was sent home from nursery the other day with a, a book where two male aardvarks fall in love, and I, I just. I just sort of, where does all this... Well, I don't, that, that, yeah. that, 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 that worries me less because you're not asking no, people to change. You're not asking, you're not, you're not saying... It's this thing, it's, it's confusing about gender roles. It's difficult when, when you're, you're young and you're still, you know, you're still having, um, you're still... You're working still, out you're your working identity. Out, working out who you are, absolutely. Can't, can't just let little kids be boys just and girls? Just let them be girls yeah. and boys and yes, let them celebrate Christmas. Please. Don't, you know, don't prioritise Diwali over Christmas. And I just think the woke has gone so far. Yeah. Yeah. You can't even just be, like, what, 95% of the population. It, you know, it, it, was, it was a joy growing up as a little child. Child, you know, playing with an action man and, mm. and cowboys, if, and in, but exactly. what's wrong with that? Exactly. But if you teach them the basics, which is that you accept love yeah. is love, and that you accept everybody, then you don't yeah. get them into these Ed very complex identity issues. I that think that's a. Even I, think, I agree with that. Yeah. Are all struggling to yes. kind of talk yeah. around. It's about. It's as you say. It's about acknowledging that love is love, and uh, and that love comes in all different forms, rather than actually going mm. into trying to point out to people what your identity is. And I thought this is my old primary school actually, because I went to primary school near St Albans, but it's not. It's oh really? Not, but, and actually, it's it, it, a lot of psychologists will tell you it's a bit of a myth this idea you are born in the wrong body there's often a trigger trauma there's a trauma perhaps which triggers somebody to want to change their entire identity which can sometimes be worked out with therapy and talking therapy not always and there are and we we have guests on this show all the time trans guests who yeah. have, live a different life than the one they were born they are fabulous people and you wouldn't wish any any hate or discomfort or harm on any of those people but to be telling children this this is a fact. Yeah. Some people are born it's in very the wrong body. It's we very, all exactly. know. We all dressed up. I bet we were. I was a tomboy. I was a tomboy. I was constantly yeah, mistaken yeah, yeah. for being a boy. On a princess dress, like it's all fine for. Just, are there pictures? Just, just, there are no princess dresses. Just at dresses. the weekend. But I have to tell you, I was much better at skipping with the girls on the well, playground than playing football. So I was all all football was I was boring, so, I was, and I still do. I was so bad at football. They made me the honorary manager of the team, so I didn't have to play. Well, I, I'd have been <laughs> saved. Yeah. I, I, was, I was ran up and down uh, the wing, hoping the ball would come nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Rugby practice, just put up a bit yeah, of mud yeah. on so you didn't look like that. Right. That makes you a girl or a boy. No, I know. Absolutely.